What's up everybody, it's Matt from TDM Style here. Welcome back to the channel once again. And today we're looking at something a little bit different. Uh, we are looking at three products, comes part of a kit. We're looking at the TikToker hairstyling kit from the salon guy, which includes his Tidal Wave Sea Salt Spray, his Locked Matte Finish Hairspray, both of which have been reformulated by the way, so we're gonna talk about that. Uh, and it also comes with, I think this is the two inch or one and a half, the smaller one of his two uh, spore net brushes. So if you've been anywhere near hair TikTok, you've probably seen Steven's like TikTok hair styling tutorial thing with that, that really popular style where it's like teased and flippy in the front. Um, it's huge. And so this is, this kit is kind of designed to like do similar styles to that. Yeah. So it's kind of has everything you need. It's got the brush that you're going to use for styling with the blow dryer. It's got the sea salt spray that you're gonna get the volume and texture with, and then the locked hairspray to, well, as the name implies, lock the style in. Uh, but this is a matte and medium pliable hold hairspray, so it's not gonna be, you know, crusty, crinkly, whatever. Um, it's gonna stay, you know, looking pretty natural, so. Now, he does also have a larger version of the brush um, that you can get. So depending on your length of hair, this one, the smaller one will work for a lot of people. Um, with my hair length as it is right now, it's starting to get long again. Uh, so I've been using the larger brush just cause it's a little bit easier. But yeah, so let's talk about specs. We'll start with the brushes since I have them in my hands already and I'm lazy. Um, so both of these brushes are by Spornet. The smaller one is the number 3365 and the larger one is number 3370. And I, I'm gonna put the specs up on the screen in case I'm wrong, but I wanna say that this one is the one inch or one and a half, and this one is two or two and a half, I forget, because um, my estimations by eyeballing it are not great. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go with one and a half and two and a half. Are we right? <laughs> But yeah, so these are um, th these are the kind of brushes, like this round style of brush is the kind of brush that I use every day when I blow dry my hair. This, this is it. Um, and these have some tech going on. So they are ceramic core, which is ideal uh, when you're blow drying because that core is gonna heat up and it's gonna just help to maintain with the heat of the blow dryer to really um, get the shape into your hair. And they do also have some negative ion tech going on in there that's very popular now in brushes. There are several brands that are doing it. Um, and that's just meant to help with smoothing and you know alleviating frizz as well as you're going through. And I like these kind, like these kind of bristles. Um, I find that they are much better at gripping the hair but also smooth and they're not like tearing hair out versus like the ones with the little plastic nubs on the end of each one. They're kind of spaced out more and, and that type of shit. These just seem to work better in general for styling. All right, now into the styling products themselves. So we have the Tidal Wave Sea Salt Spray. This has been one of Steven's best sellers for like years. Um, and he recently reformulated it to work even better. <sighs> so this is really meant, I mean, it's a sea salt spray, so you know what it's meant for, but it's, well, we'll describe it anyway. It's meant to, increase like big, big volume, uh, beachy, gritty texture. And he was mentioning to me that this reform especially has some cool properties. Like you can even, if you use this on dry hair, it kind of settles in and acts as a, like a styling powder or even a dry shampoo. So um, theoretically you could use this on second day hair to remove some excess oil and stuff. We'll test that out later. So on the, we've got Tidal Wave Volumizing Sea Salt Spray, adds texture and volume, no alcohol or parabens. And it also has UV protectant in it, which is nice. And on the back, it says this amazing sea salt spray adds big volume and is a great pre-styling spray. Excellent for finger drying or use with a blow dryer. This thick, gentle formula optimizes the hair's ability to bind to moisture. Spray on damp or dry hair, finger dry, or let dry naturally for more fullness diffused with heat. And then we have the locked hairspray. This was reformulated to have a bit more hold than the previous one. Uh, it's also the, 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Bottle, canister, bottle, 
pan. Packaging uh, is larger. This is 10 ounces. I don't remember what the previous one was, but this is huge. Uh, also, speaking of it, I forgot to mention, the sea salt spray is eight ounces, so also huge. There's a lot of product in these. So yeah, locked uh, matte finish, medium pliable hold. Locked is a workable, pliable medium hold hairspray that provides great texture, controls static, helps prevent damage from heat and environmental stress. After achieving your desired hairstyle, spray locked onto your hair by holding the can, ten to, can, that's the word, yeah, I was right, 10 to 12 inches away from your hair and lock the style in place. Now one thing I'll say, I, I, I vaguely remember using Tidal Wave like years ago, um, and I remember it smelled good, but I think he changed the scent on this new one, cause boy. Ah, fuck me up, dude. Oh my God, it smells so good. I don't even, I can't even describe. Oh, it's just like clean and a little bit sweet and just, it does evoke like beachiness, but it, oh, slightly floral maybe? I don't know, it smells fucking tits. Locked, I don't really remember. I, re I remember it smelling good, the old formula. This one, this one still smells good. It's got a little bit of that alcoholy smell that hairsprays have, but that's, I mean, there's, you really can't get away from that. Um, but it's very light, so you, you, you know, once you get it in the hair, you're not gonna smell anything at all. This, yeah, you're not gonna smell this once you get in the hair either, but as you're spraying it in and getting ready, Oh boy, you're in for a treat. So my original idea for this video was that I was going to try doing that like trendy TikTok flippy business hairstyle with these, but my haircut is not at all suited to that. So it would look ridiculous. Um, and I'm sure I would get plenty of people coming out in the comments, no, bro, it looks nothing like a boo. Like all the people on my my Steve Harrington one from years ago. Um, so instead, I decided to just use these with my normal hairstyle that I've got going on right now for the demo footage. So let's get right into it. Here we are with freshly washed hair that is still damp. Now, I always, I've said this a million times and I'll say it again, I always pre-style with a few spritzes of 25 spray first. That's just gonna add some detangling and smoothing and all kinds of other goodies that it does. That's just my base pre-styler before I do anything else. Then we're going in with just three spritzes of Tidal Wave. You really don't need a lot. This stuff is powerful. Now I like to comb things through just to make sure it's all evenly distributed. You could just finger comb it. I mean, cause it's meant to be, you know, gritty tousled texture anyway. But yeah, then we're going in with the blow dryer. And speaking of which, so this is the blow dryer that Steven sells. Um, I was gonna do like a full review on this, but in talking to Steven and you know, there, there was a little bit of interest on the channel for it, uh, but really he was like, listen, you know, it's really just meant to be compact and just a nice little dryer. And some people were saying, oh, it looks like a Dyson clone. Like it's not meant to have Dyson level technology in it. Um, but I will say very briefly, it is a nice little dryer. I do, I like the, you know, the foldingness. I actually just used this on a little trip. So this is like my travel dryer now. Um, the ends are magnetic, which is like the Dyson. So that's nice. Um, and yeah, for being just like a nice small compact dryer, it, it works great. It doesn't um, get super duper hot, which is nice too, you know, because people concerned about heat damage don't really have to worry too much about that. But anyway, yeah, back to the demo footage. So yeah, now we're going with the blow dryer and the round brush. But yeah, we're just going through my normal styling routine. You know, I, I finger dry first and get things going. You can see the volume already building in. And then I just start in with the brush, starting at the back of my head and working my way forward in sections until until we're totally done and you can see some big ass volume. I'd like duck down to get it all in frame. So yeah, it has that kind of classic sea salt effect of thickening the hair and it has that gritty beachy feel with the coarse texture. And um, yeah, so we're gonna go in with a little bit of the locked hairspray here. And again, it's medium hold. So you're gonna keep this very bouncy, movable, touchable looking hair. My hair feels super soft. One thing that I always look for in a sea salt spray is that it doesn't feel too drying or too, you know, tangly. And this is exactly that. My, oh geez, I almost dropped it and made a loud noise. Uh, this keeps my hair feeling very soft and smooth and not tangly. So while it does the volumizing and texturizing, it doesn't do that at the cost of the feeling of my hair, which is nice. So here we are after just applying the locked hairspray, and this is definitely something you could rock all day. This is uh, something that I've been doing more recently, just using less product or like lighter products and just keeping that very like movable, flowy, bouncy, natural looking hair. Um, and this will, I mean, it will stay. It's a medium hold, so it's not like it's gonna be totally, you know, rigid and stay there forever. It's meant to be pliable and move around. 
Um, but it will keep the volume and keep things, you know, in shape for the day. So you certainly can be done with your style of tattoo, especially if you're doing the forward flippy business TikTok style, because you don't need massive amounts of crazy hold for that. You know what I mean? But yeah, I mean, that's, we're looking at the results right here. So I'd say we're looking pretty good. I do, I like how it's just, you know, it feels, feels natural, man. It's like, that's my jam. And I mean, we don't really have to talk about washout here, but it is, as you might expect, super easy. Like literally just water hits it and Hang on. Nope. Anyway, it comes right out with just water. Hey, Editing Matt here. I realized I forgot to talk about using the sea salt spray uh, on dry hair, but I do have some footage of it here. And long story short, yes, it literally does work like a powder and a dry shampoo. So you almost get like a three-in-one product. It actually really surprised me, to be honest with you. Just a few spritzes into second day hair that's a little too oily, and it'll absorb some of that excess oil and just bring that texture back without over drying the hair. It's really pretty fucking cool. Yeah, so overall thoughts, we're gonna do- Oh yeah, God, the brush hit me. No, yeah. no, they... Okay, that was a very unsuccessful final thoughts toss. Final thoughts <laughs> on the tick tiker tick tiker tick tour tick tick tocking Jesus I've been away for a while but damn tick tocker hairstyling kit from Steven the Salon guy I I like this I mean the brushes as I mentioned I've been I've actually had the larger brush for a long time I bought that months and months and months ago um, when they first came out or when Steven first started carrying them rather. Um, and so I love the brushes. They're great. They work very, very well with the blow dryer. And yeah, the reforms on these, love the reform of Tidal Wave. This stuff is awesome. I don't typically use a lot of sea salt sprays because, you know, usually for me, they're just too dry. But this is one that I could use easily without worrying about my hair getting dry and tangly because it doesn't do that. It just works amazing. Big, big volume. Um, so I've been kind of rocking that lately, like big volume, flowy looking business and I'm loving it, man. And yeah, locked hairspray. This is something that, you know, I, I reviewed this a long time ago, like when the first formula came out. I liked it then, I like it now. Um, I, I think it's very uncommon to come across a matte finish hairspray and a, you know, pliable hold one at that. Most hairsprays seem to kind of go for the, the rock solid, like lock your hair in a place for the rest of time type of formula and it ends up being crusty and it just makes your hair feel icky. Um, this doesn't do that. It stays very soft. It's, I mean, it is medium hold. It's pliable. It's matte. It's restylable. Um, it's great. So that wraps things up for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this and found it helpful. Um, I'm sorry I didn't screw around and do the TikTok style on my hair for a laugh. Um, maybe next time. I don't know if there's interest. Maybe I'll fuck around and do like a short about that or something. Let me know. But please do stay tuned. We've got lots more content coming. I have lots of stuff to catch up on. We have uh, a bunch of stuff from Educated Beards. We have, geez, I don't even know. I, I have stuff from a uh, French brand. I have new products from Bayside. Lots and lots of goodies coming your way. So if you haven't already, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below to keep up to date with everything. And as always, thank you so much for coming by and watching. And we'll see you at the next one.